for the evening. Now, with great honor, I have the pleasure to introduce to the ring Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. such as this, that people like you were teaching me how to perform and entertain you. That's right, it was venues like this. It didn't have to be, thank you sweetie, it didn't have to be like a Madison Square Garden or a Philadelphia Spectrum or the LA Forum. It was venues like this that led the groundwork to this guy, that when I did make it to those big major cities that I was able to do what I did. And for that I thank all of you for coming out tonight to help these young guys. Last November the 6th, 2014, I had a celebration. That was a Ricky Steamboat celebration of celebrating 40 years of being in the business. The first 20 of those years, I was an active wrestler. I was averaging 300, believe this or not, I was averaging 300 cities a year, 300 matches a year. For 20 years, that's, I've had over 6,000 matches under my belt. 6,000. Yeah. I have been in the ring with the very, very best that you can, you can, you can, you can name. The Ric Flairs, the Randy Savages. Woo! Macho Woo! Man, yeah, WrestleMania 3. Yeah. WrestleMania 3. WrestleMania 3, we sort of set the tone. We changed the blueprint of, uh, of this business. And guys moving forward that watched that match, great performers today. Your Shawn Michaels, your Bret Hart, yeah. even Undertakers. They yeah. all to me and said that match, that match had a, had a role in the, on their wrestling career. Jake the Snake. What was that? Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh man, the guy that dropped me on the cement floor with the DDT. Wow. Forget that. How could I ever? God, I got a concussion from it. Wow. If any of you guys have not seen that, you can YouTube it and watch it. And if you listen carefully, you no, can actually WWE hear me. I'm sorry, who? WWE Network. WWE Network, thank you. Uh, you can actually hear my forehead hit the cement floor. You can actually hear it. Now, I know Roberts has been up here a few times, and he goes around telling everybody that he knocked me out. And I will go on record to say, I was never, ever knocked out. I was rocked. Sure, I was rocked pretty good, but I was never, ever knocked out. 
Anybody have a, a few questions? We can do a, a minute or two of a Q&A about my career or anything that you'd like to know about me. Yes. Jay Youngblood, what did he mean to me? I've had several tag team partners throughout my career and Jay Youngblood was not only the best tag partner, but my best friend. <laughs> it was a shame to see him pass at an early age of 29. It was truly a shame. But the, the, even to this day, so many years later, I, I get comments, and I got comments tonight about that tag team of Jay and Ricky. And uh, what we were able to do, we were together for almost five years. We were the World Tag Team Champions five times. And that little Spitfire, that little Spitfire at 195 pounds soaking wet had so much, so much heart, so much energy. God, he made even the tallest and the biggest bad guy stand up straight. Yes, he did. All right, without any more, I'm going to turn it over to this beautiful young lady, and let's start this show tonight. Thank you.